Last we've told you about the need for more money to improve and expand Buford County Schools. Well, until funding comes through, educators at one of the district's newest schools rolling with the punches. News 3's Andrew Davis is joining us from our Low Country newsroom to explain. Well, twice in two years, the referendum for more money to build new schools or expand current ones was voted down by the people of Beaufort County. That issue will come up again on ballots in November. While we don't know yet what projects may be included, May River High School will be one of them. That's because, as I found out there, teachers have classrooms, will travel. These are the busy halls of May River High. Behind the crowd of students, their own teacher rolling her cart to class. If a student needs a band-aid, materials, markers, and so forth, rulers, then I have to go in here and take everything out. May River High has 1,350 students, 59 classrooms, 73 teachers. This semester alone, 38 different teachers don't have their own classroom, instead a cart with their name on it. It's like I almost don't have time for them that they need. If they've never known anything else, then living life on the cart is just going to be their way of life. But having had my own classroom for many years, it was a huge change for me. Rhonda Platt says she loses five to ten minutes of class time just getting set up for each period. She feels frazzled, more worried about setting up her class than that personal one-on-one -on -one time she and the students need. You know, they need time. They need to be able to have a teacher that can um, have some time to listen to them. May River Principal Joe Bornshire says everyone is adapting to the new way of life at May River, but he's lost teaching candidates who want a classroom, not a cart. And with the student population already expected to grow again next year, he knows those challenges will keep rolling in. As we continue to grow and we don't have the opportunity to alleviate the overcrowdedness, then we can't continue to grow the culture we're currently proud of because it's a challenge just to manage the most basic pieces of what we do. Now, along with rolling class carts, safety is also an issue. These teachers, like students, are told to find a safe place in someone else's classroom in case of emergency. May River High is expected to add more than 100 more students next year, would make 1,500 altogether. School's only four years old. Already, it's planned for eight portable classrooms next year. Andrew Davis, WSV News 3.